Wow, there he is, living and breathing. <laughs> well, I thought this would be really fun to dig in behind the man and just being a person and being Walt Disney. And then all of a sudden you get to the idea of, oh, but I have to cast this and someone has to become Walt Disney. There was really only one person that all of us could think of, and that would be Tom. You gotta call me Walt. Mr. Dizzy was an old man, isn't that right? I mean, an icon playing an icon. It's difficult to imagine anybody but Tom playing Walt Disney. This is just so perfect. I don't look anything like Walt Disney. I don't sound like I can grow a mustache and part my hair. The job at hand was to somehow capture all that whimsy that is in his eyes as well as all of the acumen that goes along with it as well. See how it goes up on the word down? On the word down, it goes up. It's ironic. Oh, forget ironic, that's it, it, it's iconic. Da, da, da. Walt had incredible charisma. He had a way of talking to the person so that they really felt he was talking to them. Every time a person walks into a movie house, they will rejoice, they will sing. Tom Hanks blows me away with the way he does it because he has that personality. There's something thickly similar to the pair of them, and every man quality, and yet the power and scope of an emperor. It's amazing the way he walks, the body position, the way he holds his hands, the way he touches his mustache, how he phrases things and lets sentences roll off the end. I love Mary Poppins. You've got to share her with me. His head was so full of magnificent ideas that he could not help but make everybody else excited about what those ideas were. Yeah! Because that's what we storytellers do. We restore order with imagination. We instill hope again and again and again. Let me prove it to you.